Okay, this is the house on 304 Rosedale. Um, here's a picture of the uh, street that you come in on. This is the main road. And the um, about 200 meters down is where the uh, entrance is. And then about a half mile on the other side of the neighborhood is where Village Elementary School is. So that gives you some perspective of where it is in the neighborhood. It's, it's close to the entrance. You can see that car turning there onto the Shell Road. And uh, over here, the street just kind of winds and this is the other end of the neighborhood. So let's go up into the house. You notice there's some pretty nice lamps here. And uh, they did some tile work over here on the uh, front porch. That's one side stone and, and uh, two sides hardy plank. Hardy plank is a, like a masonry product so it doesn't rot or anything. You come into the door here. You'll notice wood laminate tile okay so nice nice flooring upgraded uh, this here is like a dining slash bonus room you do have an alarm system here um, there's no electricity uh, so uh, it's kind of dark but there's an art niche that leads to the garage which is pitch dark right now you can't see anything you have a hall closet here a little bit of wall marks there which is common what you'll see um, and then you walk right into this living room okay uh, in this living room, you have a hallway into these other bedrooms. That's probably the master bedroom. You have a fireplace. And then uh, that leads to the back back porch. And then you got the kitchen. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the kitchen first. You notice it's real open. Uh, you have, uh, these are just, you know, laminate countertops. 42 inch cabinets. Uh, they're nice, solid, you know, raised panel cabinets. Uh, What's right here, refrigerator would go there. Pantry, this is the entrance into that first room we saw. You do have a little breakfast area right here. Again, tile floors. And a uh, little upgraded lighting there, fluorescent lighting. And you have black appliances, GE dishwasher, stove, and uh, space saving microwave with the tile backsplash on diagonal. Um, so you come into the living room and uh, let's look at the backyard while we're here. You have a nice covered patio with an outdoor ceiling fan. Okay, uh, looks like they have some trees planted there. Really a good sized yard. I mean this is a good sized yard you don't typically find in Georgetown Village. You'll see the uh, hardy plank here on the side and it does have gutters here on the back too, back and front I believe. Um, there's the two trees. Here's the backyard. It's a very large backyard. Plenty of room. Your neighbors. And then your neighbor there. All right, let's go back in the house. It does come with two inch wood blinds throughout the home. Um, let's see, the first place we're gonna look at is this hallway down here, which, oh, I guess there is a light. Oh, there's a light. How about that? There's the uh, full bath uh, with kind of like this uh, plastic surround, um, your toilet, vanity, and your favorite homeboy. Okay, then there's the one bedroom. It's a decent size, it's not huge, but again, this is you know 16 something hundred square feet, so it's not gonna be a really huge bedroom. And then this one here, it's probably a little bigger. It looks a little bigger. And there's your closet. Nothing uh, spectacular, but you know, good enough for a bedroom. And then you have a uh, what, is, what do you call those linen closets? Let me try to get this closet. So this closet, again, just real, real typical. What you'll see in this size home. The nice thing is all this flooring is upgraded, so you only have carpet in the bedrooms. And this is uh, your washer dryer utility room. Let me turn on the lights now that I know that there's lights. Uh, it is electric connection. Okay. And uh, let's look at the master bedroom. Master bedroom faces out the back. And you have a good place for a, even a king size bed there. And then you have some nice wall space for, you know, just furniture. Um, so, good sized master bedroom. And then you have your closet which is also a good size walk-in closet. Lots of space to hang clothes. This leads into your master bathroom. You have a kind of an overhead, oversized shower. 
they keep the house pretty clean. I am surprised to find that the house is so clean. Uh, glass block wall for privacy. Your two sinks, they are, you know, higher than normal. And then uh, just your typical lighting that you'll find, builder grade. And then the, uh, the toilet area. And also you'll find ceiling fans in, I think, all the rooms. There's one there. One there. There's your lighting to give you an idea. Ceiling fan, ceiling fan. So it's built by Lennar and, and they pretty much have ceiling fans and everything pretty much standard. Um, that's it, 304 Rosedale. And um, that's how the house looks. Pretty good shape. Now that we have light, I decided to go into the garage, just kind of show you how the garage looks like. Uh, there is a garage opener, and uh, you'll notice that it does have a water softener, which is a nice feature. Uh, there's the panel. It does not look like there is a uh, sprinkler system, so there's no sprinkler system in the house. That's the only thing that I see missing. Otherwise, uh, just a typical garage, and there's your attic access. So that's the house on Rosedale. This is your favorite homeboy signing out.